certainly possible that variants are playing a role as they appear to be in Brazil. Could absolutely be the case in India. But you don't want to kind of get sucked into that thinking like, oh, this is really bad. It must be because we have a variant. It's totally possible to have this bad of an outbreak without something new. The U.S. had a horrible epidemic over the winter, uh, not driven by any particular single variant. I think it's difficult to say if any given variant is responsible without a fair amount of pretty rigorous epidemiological works. But we saw that the UK, through a combination of non-pharmaceutical interventions and vaccination campaign, turned their outbreak over the winter around, even though it was caused by B117. They turned that around before they reached, you know, 50 or 60 percent vaccination. They're still not there. So that shows that the non-pharmaceutical interventions can break the back of outbreaks caused by more transmissible variants. I don't think it's clear yet that this variant in India or most of the other variants that are on our radar screen, whether they are more transmissible or not, though. It's called a double mutant because it has two potentially important mutations in the receptor binding domain of the spike protein. So that's physically, that's the head. The spike is kind of like a stalk with a head and the head of the stalk contains the, what's called the receptor binding domain, which is the part of the spike that physically attaches to ACE2, which is the protein receptor on our cells. And so it has two mutations there, one called L452R and one called E484Q. It's probably a little misleading to call it a double mutant because I'm sure this variant has other mutations as well. The L452R and E484Q mutations are certainly potentially significant. I think we could predict that those are two mutations that could have some impact on antibody neutralization of this virus. So it's possible that this virus has a slightly higher propensity to reinfect people who were previously infected. It may partially escape vaccine-induced immunity to some degree. I don't want to say that it means the vaccines don't work. I, I think they will still work, but there may be a slightly higher rate of, you know, these so-called breakthrough infections that we've started to hear about or something like that. And so that's why those mutations are important.